up, guys, and welcome to Southwest Angling. I'm your host, Ani KC, and today we are at Conscious Lake. It has been quite some time since I posted, let alone with a fishing video, but today we have a very special guest, Pastoral Homestead. If you guys haven't checked out his, his channel, be sure to. Um, he does a lot of tournament fishing, goes over them, and there will be another part to this video with some fish by him, so be sure to check him out. I'll leave a link in the description. Today, we are just gonna see what happens, really. I mean, we don't have a plan. Um, if we can get into some bigger smallmouth, that would be perfect. Walleye, um, I haven't caught one in two years, so that would be pretty darn awesome. We're just gonna see where the day takes us, show you some highlights, and it should be a really fun trip. Stay tuned, guys. That's right. Alrighty, guys, we are at our first spot. We are on like a, sort of like a hump deal. Um, comes pretty shallow along here and deep on either side, so hopefully that'll get us onto some fish. Uh, Reese was fishing a tournament here the other day, and here is where he caught some of the big ones. So here's to open. We get some. Right now I'm just using a drop shot, um, you know, just the classic, but I am using a different lure than I usually do. It's from Bass Pro Shops. I ran out of all my yum stuff. So uh, we'll see how this performs that was, as a little alternative to the sharpshooter. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can get on him. All right, guys, first one on. I thought uh, there's one following him. If you wanna, it looks like he just coughed. He's coughing. Yeah, he's coughing some bait fish up. First fish. First fish. Not much of a specimen, but a first fish. <laughs> Alrighty, there he is, guys. Little guy. Looks like the Bass Pro Shops worm is doing well there we go guys not you know i've caught much smaller as you all know but a pretty little smallmouth. you know he i didn't know he was on so i can't say the fight was that good but yeah really nice there's one following him so hopefully we can get into a few more hopefully a bigger one all right so the hump sort of settled down not working too much so right now we're just drifting along and we saw a few busting, one really nice one. So I put on this little Bass Pro Shops popper and we're gonna see if we can entice a big one. All right guys, of course the GoPro isn't on, but um, I was just popping it back and I thought I heard a, some splashing and then um, I thought, I just said, oh, I think I see something behind it. And then he just slammed this popper. This one was a, like a dollar forty-seven from Bass Pro Shops, and well worth it. Average size fish there, not half bad, especially on the top water. All right, guys, we're gonna move, but um, the popper bite seems to be good. But this one is a little too big, I think. So I have my top water box here. Um, we already saw that one cough up some shad, so I think this. Uh, Get that off of there. This little river to sea guy is gonna work well. Much smaller, get those, get more fish. Technically a herring color, but it should still work. I'm jumping on this point. Oh, it's a largey. Oh no, oh dang. <laughs> yeah, I uh, shouldn't have flipped him, darn. Oh, got one already, dang. Cast after. This time the GoPro was on, what a miracle. There we go. This one I can flip. First largey of the day. Jeez, he's tearing himself up. Got both hooks. Look at that, he wanted it. All right, got the hook out, tore up his mouth. Poor dude. Pretty little guy, pretty white in this dirtier water. Let's get another one. Oh, there we go. That's a bigger one. Yeah, there's a bunch following him. Uh, I think it's a smallie. Hope you guys saw that blow up. Yeah, he's a he's a better one, not by much. He's long, not fat. Oh, he's hooked on the bottom. All right, just had to flip him. Hooked in the gill. Yeah, not. Oh, geez, settle down, dude. There we go. Hooked in the bottom. That's not a bad one. You know, I don't know how long. I'd say he's 12 or so. 
they're just hammering it up. Look at, they're like fighting for something over there. Oh, this fish like pooped on me or something. It's nasty. That's a better one. Really skinny, but pretty long. Big face. All right, let's get him back. Uh, one just smacked it. There we go. Cast after. This bite is crazy. It almost looked like a white bass. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it is whitey. All types of species. Yeah. There we go. I haven't caught a white bass. This is my first white bass on topwater, I'd say. There we go. First white for the channel. All sorts of species stacked up in here. That is a nice little white bass. Pretty, you know, people neglect them because they're not a, you know, white, smally or largey, but that's a pretty fish. <laughs> I just hooked another one. <laughs> Look at this. There we are, that's a darker one. Much smaller than the boat. Now's your chance, Reese, you can do it. Oh, is it, is it done? <laughs> Please land this. Nice. Finally, we got some competition out here. Oh ho ho, whoa. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Oh, are you serious? They're feisty out. Missed it three times. There we go. Third time, fourth is the charm. Really small guy. Oh, he's not bad, actually. Look at that. Dinker. While well, I'm unhooking this, he's hooked another one. I think it's, <laughs> look at that, the best on YouTube right here. <laughs> so let's see, we've got three species under our belt. Let's see if we can get a topwater sunfish. And oh my gosh, did you see that? Oh, he's still going for it, got him. There we go, oh, I really hope you guys saw that. Oh, don't come off, I swear. Oh, he's hooked bad, he ain't getting off. He's snagged. Thought he was a lot bigger. It's a large mouth though. Ew, that's ugly. There we go, poor guy. That was a splash though. There we, there we go, I hope. This better not have been the guy that jumped like that. That was a splash and a half. Let's get her back, woo. All right, guys. Oh, I do have him. Oh, look at how small he is. Okay, so I put on the larger size whopper plopper, you know, like the legit five inch model. And first cast, we got one. Look at that. You know, you don't need to target massive fish when using big baits. You can just catch average size small ones. Okay, we it slowed down like crazy, so I switched on over to a Kaitech, and this guy is fighting his butt off. He's not even that big, he's just strong. There we finally go. A little smally. There we go, we smacked that swim bait. Alrighty, there he goes. Nice swim bait fish. Aw, oh, doubled. I got this little guy at the boat. Aw, oh, dang, missed it. He just came out of nowhere and just slammed it. There we go. Got him. Oh, there we go. But I will say that I am tired of fishing these little fish, so I have put on... Nice. I was playing with this fish forever. That is probably the biggest largemouth of the day. There we go. Big head on him. Wish his body was that way. Nice. Okay, got another. I was just reeling it in and felt weight like he did not bite hard at all. Shot. 
there we go. We're trying to figure them out. Uh, we've gotten a few bites on the jig, but I'm sticking with the swim bait to get these cruisers. Not a bad one. Oh, we almost doubled. Oh, this is a nicer one. Big one. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Now that right there might almost. Nope, he's not quite a keeper. No. He's close. Almost a keeper. He's close. Oh, dang. He has some sharp teeth. That is a very close keeper. He's a little bent in his back. I wonder where that's from. Most of the bites with this, this Kai-Tac, it just feels heavy. You don't yep. feel him slam it. That's not too bad a one. Maybe an inch longer and he would make it. It's a sunfish. It it hit like a champ. I think, look at how pretty that fish is. All right guys, so we're back doing what I love, drop shotting some branches and I just hooked my first. By the way you jumped, I think he's, he's pretty small. But he's putting up a really good fight, whatever he is. Oh, he's not bad. Not bad at all. Very brown. Wow. That is a really dark fish. Beautiful though. Probably the darkest smallie I've caught. Well, look at the color on that guy. That is beautiful. Nice and bronze. That's an awesome fish. Alright guys, so sorry for the sort of sudden end to the video. I don't know where the day's gonna end. Um, but yeah, over now. Uh, pretty awesome day. Uh, by the way, this is what the green screen looks like without any background. I'm just, I'm just too lazy to edit one on there. But, um, but yeah, really fun day. Didn't get any keepers, uh, which is what we were looking for. And by that we mean, um, a fish over 14 inches because in the tournaments at Conscious Lake, uh, that is the size of fish you need to actually, you know, qualify and enter it in. So, uh, we weren't going to keep any fish, that's what we meant by that, just to clarify. But, uh, yeah, really fun day. Uh, that top water bite was sensational, lots of great action, really fun to see him blow up. Uh, I highly recommend going to Conscious Lake, it was super cool. I couldn't show all of the fish I caught in the video, just because some were repetitive they're all small mouth like that big and i mean it, it just would have made the video longer and less watchable i also caught another sunfish but uh yeah really fun day um great guy reese um be sure to check out his channel pastoral homestead uh, if you guys are into tournaments you'll like some of his videos he goes over what strategies he uses and uh he has some great potential so be sure to follow him through a really great guy and be sure to watch his video that is his side of this uh the fish he catches and what strategies he used to fish the lake uh, a lot of great fish catches on there be sure to check it out and thank you for watching this video um planning on doing a few more lake videos because i'm pretty sure you guys like them uh, let me know and yeah, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you later. Toodles.